Hey guys and welcome back. And so, in this Banjo-Kazooie update for Smash Ultimate, there's one thing that instantly stuck out to me. Not about the returning duo themselves, but in the new stage, Spiral Mountain. In the background, we can see some items from the original Banjo-Kazooie for N64. These actually match the locations of the same items on Spiral Mountain from the first game, including extra lives, and empty honeycombs which give you an extra health when you collect six of them. You can think of them kind of like empty heart containers from Zelda, I guess. A few of them are missing though, like the one under Spiral Mountain, probably because it's normally outside the view of the camera, and the one you get for uh, murdering these sentient rocks. But anyway, this got me thinking. These collectibles obviously aren't part of the level model, so what would happen if we, say, collect them? Well, to make this happen, I figured we need two things. First was to remove the boundaries in the level, so we can reach them without dying. And next was to gain the magical powers of flight. Uh, I tried doing this for Banjo first, but that didn't really work. So instead, let's take to the skies with... Piranha Plant! If you didn't realize already, the reason we need to fly is because most of the stage model has no collision. Anyway, in order to grab one of these items, I figure we're going to need to catch it as the level is spinning. So let's line this up. But what's this? They disappear when we approach them? Well, it looks like we might have reached another roadblock. The real reason this is happening is because when the stage rotates these items out of view, they get disabled to save on graphics processing power, which just happens to be right as we're about to collect one. Fortunately though, I dug through the code for this stage a bit more and managed to prevent them from disappearing. So now, we can finally, finally, uh, oh, well nothing happened. It's about what I expected though to be honest, but I still think it's pretty cool to be able to get up close and touch them now. Well anyway, let's finish off by taking a better look around Spiral Mountain, since I've removed the camera restrictions. Well, that's all for now, folks. For next time, I'm thinking of doing a video where we go out of bounds in a whole bunch of other stages. Some of them are really interesting and actually have collision even out of bounds. So then, uh, thanks for watching as always. Drop a final smash on that dislike button. And till next time, bye-bye.